how to add a payment method on Redbubble. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a payment method to your Redbubble account all in just eight minutes. Firstly, I want you to come out to redbubble.com obviously, and then I want you to sign in if you haven't signed in already. Now, once you sign in, I'm going to catch you guys in just a second. So once you've logged in successfully, now from over here, I want you to click on your profile icon and then I want you to click on account settings. Now, once you click on account settings and now is where you can basically start adding your account information. So I want you to firstly click on edit payment details over here on the left side. This is underneath the edit profile button. So click on this and then wait for a couple of seconds. And now you basically have to put in some personal information. So firstly, you will have to put in your first name your last name and after that put in your email address now once you have put in all of these things after that you will simply have to move on to this particular information now you will also have to verify your email address so like do that as well i'm gonna like put in my first name over here basically something like john doe maybe so once i put in that after that you need to put in your street address so like this can be anything like for example if you live in san francisco you can type in over here street number 34 west colony and san francisco and then in line number two you can type in the name of your state or anything then simply move on to city or town now make sure to put in the exact city that is mentioned on your id card don't put in any other city like for example if your id card is made like let's say of california but now you live in new orleans well don't put in new orleans put in california even if you live somewhere else put in california because that is going to ensure that you like you know get verified without any issues whatsoever because sometimes if you put in information that is not like you know accurate to your id card their computers can't verify it and it's a big problem now after that put in the zip code now finding the zip code is pretty easy now for example if you live in new york you can type it over here new york zip code now once you type it over here new york zip code now you can simply like you know copy the zip code of new york depending upon which state you live in new york so simply copy that and then simply come over here and paste it so once you have pasted that simply put in your state or province and your country now over here this is the most important and the most critical part simply choose which currency do you want to be paid in now you can get paid in the following currencies australian dollars canadian dollars euros pounds and us dollars i'm gonna choose usd and then you can basically choose the option number two if you want to like you know use pioneer um your bank details or something or you can choose option number one as well if you have a paypal account now i'm gonna choose the option number two and now i have to put in the following information so now from over here i want you to like you know simply put in your bank's routing number now what is your bank's routing number now for example um my bank is mizan bank so i'm gonna type in mizan bank routing number so you can basically type in your bank name and then just simply type in routing number after that and you will see like your bank's routing number over here so like from over here i can basically see like you know all these different search results now what is a routing number let's first search that because that is gonna like you know really um clear out everything so what is a routing number so once i type in this after that i will see like you know over here so in the us an aba routing transit number is a nine digit code printed on the bottom of checks so basically a routing number is your account number so like whatever your account's number is you can simply like you know type that in over here and put in your iban number over here so like your iban is going to be your routing number then you can type in your account holder's name basically if this account is on your name you can simply type in your name if it's on somebody else's name you can type in somebody else's name over here Simply choose the account type and then after that, check this box and save changes. There you go. Your account information will be successfully added on Redbubble. And guys, honestly, that is basically all that you need to do to like add your information on Redbubble. Now let's move on to Redbubble itself. Now, let's say if you want to like, you know, buy something on Redbubble. Well, now let's say that you want to sell on Redbubble. Well, to sell on Redbubble, it is very, very simple. Simply like, you know, click on your profile, click on sell your art, and then you will be taken over to the sell your art page. So now from over here, you can create products, you can add avatars, you can add cover images, add social links, and then also you can get paid because like we've simply like, you know, put in all of our payment information over there. So to actually like, you know, receive any payment first, you have to sell. So to sell, it is pretty straightforward. Like I mentioned before, simply click on add designs. 
Now, once you click on add designs, now from over here, simply upload your work. Now, this can be anything. This can be any designs that you might have. So I'm going to like from over here, basically choose a design that I might have. So I'm going to choose this ship. So once I choose this ship, I can now firstly put in the tags and put in the description. And I can basically have this printed on any one of these products, basically stickers and magnets, phone cases and so many more options so like honestly you can like sell this on all of these different items and it is gonna go like crazy you will receive a lot of sales because like print on demand is really all about being unique and the more unique you can make your product to be the more money you can actually make because the more sales you will get and honestly that is the key working on redbubble.com so now coming back to redbubble Another very, very nice way to actually see what things sell is by simply taking a look at the categories up top. Simply identify which category you want to target and then after that, choose the subcategory. Now, once you choose the subcategory and now from over here, you can basically like see all the designs that are selling and all the different things that are basically like in the top sellers niche right now. You can identify different shirts and different things from over here and you can simply copy those designs or have someone from like Fiverr or Upwork make a copy of those designs for you and you can simply like, you know, sell it under your own brand name. So like guys, honestly, it is that simple. And I couldn't emphasize on this particular project enough because like, you know, they give you everything. Like you literally have to upload the designs. Redbubble is gonna take care of all the logistics, of all the shipping, the handling fees. Every single thing is gonna be taken care of by Redbubble. You don't have to do anything whatsoever. Like even like, you know, you don't have to keep any warehouse whatsoever. They will do everything. So that is why it is very, very important to like sell on Redbubble. And now you know how you can cash out as well. If you have an existing store well then you know how you can cash out because guys like in times of covid when there is just so so much going on like people are literally losing everything that they had every single thing so for you to like go out and do these methods to try out these different applications try out these different websites is a really really groundbreaking because not only does it allow you to become a savior for your friends and family because in these difficult times everybody needs a job but also it helps you to like make a living for yourself and earn some additional money for yourself so that you guys can also achieve your financial goals whether that be buying a lamborghini whether that be buying your own motorcycle whether that be helping someone else it all depends upon you but my job is to make sure you guys get resources get ways to monetize your time online because that is what we want ultimately and that is our end goal from this channel so guys all in all if you guys face any confusions you guys know how you guys can reach out to me through the comment section down below because i respond to all the comments who really want help and i will guide you till the end until and unless you guys understand every single thing so guys do not hesitate to reach out to me so guys this was the video and if this video helped you out make sure to smash that like button subscribe until next time goodbye